make sure that no dust has fallen on anything while it's been sitting out because sometimes dust just kind of is in the air. And then you just basically do everything in reverse. You slide this in with the cable facing the earpiece side. You just slide it in all the way. It should go in pretty easily and you just lightly press down and it pops right in. So once that in, you just put the screws back in. And it's best if you use a magnetized screwdriver, it makes things a lot easier. And just make sure all the holes are lined up before you put any screws in. And all six of those screws are exactly the same? Yep. They're all the same size, so you don't have to worry about that. Just make sure you don't mistake them for the screws that go where the speakers are. How do you know when you've had them when you have them tight enough? Um, just don't over tighten them. Just kind of screw it until it doesn't want to go anymore. Just screw it till you seat it. Just screw it until it stops. Like I'm not using any pressure really. Once you start to feel pressure, just go a little bit more and then stop. This isn't a machine or anything like that. It's just an electronic device, so you don't ha really have to worry about the screws being super tight. You shouldn't have to take too much abuse. Yeah, I can see without a magnetized screwdriver, it would be almost impossible. Those screws are so small. Why don't you tell the viewers how to magnetize a screwdriver if they don't have a magnetized screwdriver? Isn't there a way to do that? Well, you can set it next to a magnet. Is there any particular kind of magnet? There is, but I've forgotten. It's called a rare earth magnet. There you go, that's it. So then you can uh, set aside this bowl, and now you're just gonna uh, face it, kind of orient it how it goes on, and then flip it up so the headpiece is up like that. And then you're just gonna put these uh, three cables back in, the small cable labeled cable number three. You can see it's got an orange three right there. I don't know if you can even read that. That goes in first. You just slide that in and then pop the black thing down. So it's still just kind of resting on top. Just go ahead and turn the screen, turn the phone on. It's totally safe to do. And just wait for it to turn on. Hopefully my battery on my camera doesn't die. My battery died on my camera, so I'm not exactly sure where I left off. Uh, it's plugged in now, so we're good. So once you get all the cables uh, connected, everything's good. Don't push the screen back into the phone yet. Just use the lock button to turn it on real quick. Verify that the touch screen is working. It's working just fine. Sound is working. And the last thing you do is just make sure the home button is working, so First, press in the top near the uh, headset, headpiece, and then just kind of snap the phone in, make sure it's all lined up. Snap it into place. Everything's good, touch screen works. Home button works just fine. So you'll see, home button, touch screen. Everything's good. And there's no more fingerprints or dust under my screen. The reason there were fingerprints under the screen was because I actually replaced the digitizer. My digitizer cracked. So I bought a new one from Zetron.com, I think. I'll put a link in the bottom bar. You can check out their website. Um, so yeah, once that's done, all you gotta do is put in these two screws right here and you're all set to go. And there you have it. Uh, that's how you uh, Take off the screen on an iPhone and remove any dust that may be under the screen. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, comment, rate, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. You can't trust